This presentation takes a look at the consequences of freshwater intrusion on a vibrant brackish estuary and its unintended consequences that affect and will affect southeast Louisiana and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Let's take a look at some examples of freshwater intrusion on our brackish estuary. First, let's look at Mardi Gras Pass and then the Bonacary Spillway opening 2019 and then extrapolate what we can expect if the Mid-Britain Sound Diversion becomes operational. Mardi Gras Pass. Prior to 2012, there was great fishing and abundance of saltwater species between Delacro and Point La Hache with very little land loss. The slides that follow show the area just above Mardi Gras Pass from 2006 all the way through 2019. Shows the progression of the deterioration of the area with the intrusion of fresh water. Unintended consequences. With fresh water from Mardi Gras Pass, Lilies start to grow, obstruct waterways, and kill marsh grass that are floating on their land in high water. This has never been an issue for over a hundred years. By 2019, land loss was extensive and no saltwater species were to be found in areas where they were once prolific. As a recap of what's happened, brackish marshes turned fresh, loss of sustaining brackish vegetation and land, loss of salinity sensitive species, speckled trout, oysters, shrimp, and crabs, and businesses are closing. This and the following chart shows the river levels at New Orleans in 2018 and 2019. Normally the river is above 11 feet during the spring months of March, April, and May, and June. Being above 11 feet is not normal. The chart shows the months greater than 11 feet and the Bonnet Carey Spillway openings for those two years. This amount of water has pushed a tremendous amount of water through Mardi Crawl Pass and has contributed to the problems in that area. After the spillway was open for only 19 days, you can see the brown freshwater intrusion. As a result of the freshwater from the spillway opening, dolphins died, algae blooms closed Mississippi waters, tourists did not come, catches of speckled trout, oysters, shrimp, and crabs declined significantly, and jobs were lost in many sectors. The Mid-Britain Sound Diversion is a new diversion planned just north of Mardi Gras Pass. If this is built and becomes operational, it will be like having the Bonnie Carey Spillway open every day, all day, all year, every year. What impact do you think this will have? This planned freshwater diversion will
will funnel volumes of water from the Mississippi River into our brackish estuary and into the Mississippi Sound. If built, the consequences will be dire. Let's be perfectly clear at what's at stake if the mid britain Sound Diversion becomes operational. There will be a loss of marsh vegetation and land putting New Orleans at greater risk, a loss of salinity sensitive species, speckled trout, oysters, shrimp, and crabs, loss of regional economic drivers, loss of tourists, loss of commercial rec and recreational fishing businesses, and loss of jobs. Businesses will close. There is a win-win option for everyone. Close Mardi Gras Pass, estimated at $8 million. Dredge the river sediment into the marsh, 95% sediment, 5% fresh water. Plant grass on the dredge material. And if the spillway opening is required, open all the bays, but for a shorter period of time. The benefits are brackish estuary will be restored, jobs will be created, land loss will be reversed, and deepening the river will provide better flow and depth for ships.